Welcome back to Tactical Accountants. Today's video is gonna be a quick look at the WBP mini jack, or I should say my WBP mini jack. Uh, if you're at all familiar with these things, it should be obvious that this is not how they come from Arms of America or Atlantic Firearms or anywhere else you see them for sale. Uh, should suffice to splice in a photo of how they do look, or you could just look it up online. In any case, this is more a look at what the WBP mini jack can be. If you do your part, apply yourself, stay in school, eat your vitamins, and mostly just throw uh, disposable income at it. If you are considering purchasing one of these, or any AK really, you should know going into it that if you want to customize it at all, these are not quite as standardized as the AR-15 we all know and love. So just know that you may have to do some fine tuning of any parts uh, you decide to swap out. I'm gonna discuss those here. This is the CNC Warrior folding brace. I think it looks very sharp for a brace, uh, super sturdy. It does fold. I knew from day one with this uh, firearm that I was gonna be going with something like this. That is why I never did a unboxing or a first shots video as it came from WBP because frankly I had no intention of shooting this thing without a brace and pretending I was the leader of Crimson Jihad. So with the CNC Warrior Brace, uh, there are a multitude of options when ordering to make sure you get the right kit for whatever you're installing it on. For this, I believe I ordered, it was labeled the Polish uh, Lynx. I think WBP makes the Lynx, so it made sense to me. It fit just fine. I also paid the extra $20 or so to get the drill guide and drill bits from CNC Warrior. I use a regular uh, cordless drill, just took my time. The first pilot hole drilled super easy, and then after that, the big hole that the bolt ends up going through was really no harder. So, highly recommend the CNC Warrior brace. Moving on from that, the furniture and mag, as you can tell, are matching in this, uh, I call it fake light, but I guess it also could look like fake wood. This is the Magpul MOE K2 grip. This is the Magpul AKM lower handguard, but I wanted more of a classic look on my mini jack, something in the crank off style. So I actually had this grip this handguard and this WBP uh, smoke translucent magazine coded by a gentleman on Reddit uh, with the username uh, that I'm going to put in the video. I'm very happy with how they turned out. No problem with fitment on either this grip or handguard. The safety with this extended tab here that makes it easy to engage and disengage with your index finger is uh, WBP so pretty nice it's a matching part I believe a number of vendors sell these I got mine from Rob Ski at the AKOU because that is one cool dude moving on the rail is also an Ultimac M1B like on my Fox the gas tube on the mini jack is quite a bit shorter than on a standard AKM so I had to trim this Ultimac down. I stood it up next to the original gas tube. I measured twice and cut once with an angle grinder. And then I used some Birchwood Cassie Aluma Black to darken it so it wasn't just the exposed aluminum. But I did notice after clamping it down with the two clamps that come on the Ultimac that racking the uh, bolt slowly could cause some hangups, but uh, after putting some rounds through this, uh, it functions just fine. And I kind of knew that wearing in a steel piston against the aluminum of the gas tube, if there was anything rubbing, I was confident that it would just break itself in. And that seems to be the case. So you can make the Ultimac M1B work. Sitting on top of that, we have my go-to Hollow Sun Circle Dot. Finally, the muzzle device. So the WBP mini jack comes with a thread protector installed. It is spot welded uh, for legal reasons, I suppose. So just know that you're gonna have to take a Dremel or even a hand file to the spot weld on the underside of the thread protector. 
after that all you need to do is apply uh, some strength via vice grips and you should be able to break that weld that's what i did was able to get that thread protector off there is a standard ak style uh detent plunger to index the muzzle device on the mini jack uh, in the case of my mini jack, unfortunately, that plunger was completely seized and stuck in the fully collapsed position. What I had to do was use a punch and a hammer to punch out this pin. It is the pin closest to the flash hider. There are two. You can take out the spring and detent, soak it in some penetrating oil like PB Blaster, which I did. Reassemble and now the plunger works fine. It is still a little sticky, but it is retaining this A2 style flash hider, obviously in the 14 millimeter left hand thread. I'm going to drop as a subtitle the name of the vendor where I got this because I forgot, but it was very inexpensive. It was around $12 um, and it works great. So I do have some ideas in mind for videos featuring both this mini jack and my Fox going forward including a velocity comparison as well as a flash hider comparison with the 10 inch barrel of the mini jack compared to the 16 inch of the fox so stay tuned for that what i'm going to be doing today is some first shots for you guys in the interest of full transparency these aren't the first shots i ever put through it i made sure before that everything functions okay i zeroed the red dot adjusted the irons a bit but for all intents and purposes these are the first rounds and anger through my WBP mini jack. Ammo of choice today is Wolf 122 grain full metal jacket pretty much as cheap as it gets and the target shifting our focus is a 10 inch gong at 100 yards. Nothing too challenging 20 rounds loaded That was all 20, functions great. I think the flash hider works pretty well. I did notice one uh, fireball there out of 20. I'll have to analyze the footage, but seems to be pretty good for a 10 inch barrel. So that's it, definitely more content coming with the mini jack. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we'll see you next time.